Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the brand new video into my channel Repex. So here it is your boy Hassan and into this video I'm going to show you how can you boost up your FPS for the AMD Radeon user into the Call of Duty Warzone. So guys, by using simple setting or simple tweaks, you can easily boost up your FPS, fix out the texture loading problem or fix out your FPS draw problem or stutter problem in your game. So guys, make sure to stick with this video till the end and don't skip this video. And if you are new on my channel, so make sure to subscribe this, hit the like button and also so tell me in the comment section what are you thinking about this video. So guys simply first of all you need to do some setting or some tweaks for your AMD Radeon software. So just first of all you need to right click on your desktop and go for the AMD Radeon software. From here you need to do some tweaks for the uh, your software so just first of all the most important step you need to update your driver onto the latest version so I just already have the latest version 20.4.2 so just update your driver onto the latest version so just after doing this now it's time to do some tweaks so just go for the setting button and just go into the graphics tabs from here you need to select out the uh, eSport gamings and uh, now you need to follow my this, this simple settings. So just from here you need to enable out the anti lag because it is help out you to uh, decreasing your input delay in your games like online games like Fortnite, CSGO or other all the games like that. Okay so just after doing this uh, here is the radio chill to disable out this because it will uh, drop down your uh, FPS in your game. So just here is the next uh, option which is the radio boost. So guys actually this is uh, really help out you in boosting up your FPS but it will be uh, decrease your resolution whenever you uh, fastly move your mouse uh, in game so it will boost up your FPS but it will decrease the resolution of your game uh, if you see here this is the radio and boost so just you need to uh, set it on to the 83% if you want to uh, not bad quality of your resolution game and uh, uh, want to boost up your FPS so this is very important software uh, very important option for you and really help out you to boosting up your FPS so here is the uh, next video in image shopping so it will make your image sharp uh, so you need to uh, just enable out this option because it will really help out you to make the quality of your game better but uh, I recommend uh, you to uh, if you want to boost up your FPS so just disable out it and next guys uh, I just recommended you to use uh, if you have a low end PC so just uh, enable out the AMD Radeon boost enable out it if you have a good PC so, uh, and if you want to fix out your stutter problem so just you need to disable out it and just enable this option okay uh, I think you got it if you have any type of problems just comment me down there and I will help out you as soon as possible so guys next uh, here is the uh, enhancing uh, just disable out this option and here is the wait for the vertical refresh actually this is the vsync so just you need to uh, set it on to the always go next go for the uh, advanced settings uh, here is the anti analyzing so just set it on to the enhanced application setting next here is the uh, anti aliasing uh, method so just set it on to the adaptive sampling multi sampling and uh, morphological uh, anti sampling so just disable out it disable out the uh, filtering and here is the texture filtering quality so just set it on to the performance it will really help out you to boosting up your fps and getting the best performance in your game next here is the surface format optimization this is the best optimization in my opinion so just enable out also this option because it will uh, optimize uh, the texture quality of your game also just after doing this here is the next resolution mode so next you need to set it on to the uh, amd optimized and uh, next here is the open gl uh, triple buffering and just you need to disable out this option from here and just leave the settings next guys go for the display options and from here you need to do some tweaks again so here is the radio free things if you have uh, spotted this on your monitor so just enable out this option from uh, here and just here is the uh, virtual super resolution you just enable out it next gpu scaling turn it off uh, scaling mode just set it onto the full screen here is the integer scaling so just uh, disable out it if it's spotted you or not okay so just after doing this here's my display specs you can also check out this for uh, best uh, settings so just after doing this you need to uh, go for the general tab and just do the optimization for your AMD Radeon software because it is also using the your background of your RAM or your GPU so just you need to disable out the all the preferences from here in game overlay uh, upgrade uh, advisor system tray menu advertisement and the toast notification just disable out all the options from here and also disable out the desktop record desktop one and uh, if you have unable out the instant replay so just also uh, disable all of these options from here 
So guys, uh, our setting for AMD Radeon is done. So next, uh, if you want to uh, overclock your GPU for AMD Radeon, so just comment me down there and I will make a video for you. How can you uh, overclock your GPU and get the best performance or increase the, your FPS in game. So just uh, next, uh, we are going to boost up our game by using this uh, boost pack. So you need to download this boost pack. I will give you the link of this boost pack into the description. So just go there and download this boost pack from there. Just after downloading, just extract this on your desktop. For extracting it, you need a, a zip uh, software or a WinRAR software. So just after doing this, you need to open up this boost pack. And just opening up uh, this one, you need to first of all create a restore point. For just uh, creating a restore point, just go for the window search. Just, just type here restore. Press enter and here is the create uh, restore uh, options. So just first of all, you need to go for the configuration tab and from here enable out the system protection, turn it on and next uh, set the uh, max usage onto the 5% and just click OK. Just after uh, doing this, you need to click here on the create button and just type here any name from here and just create out your restore point. So I just already uh, done it before uh, doing this uh, setting. So just you need to uh, after uh, creating your restore point and now go for this tweak so first of all you need to uh, run both these uh, command line from here so first of all we are going to uh, registry uh, tweak one dot reg file so just right click here and just click here onto the merge button and it will be uh, installed on your pc so just next uh, you need to click here onto the merge button again and just click yes and click ok again just after doing this here is the bcd added so just run this as administrator so just right click here and just go for the run as administrator so it will be uh, installed on your successfully and uh, speed up your boot up or other options like that just uh, press uh, the space bar on any key and it will uh, close this window next guys here is the most important uh, software which will really help out you to increase your power of your cpu which will really help out you in online games uh, like fortnite like call of duty or apex legend like that because this is uh, games are based on a maximum onto the, your cpu not or on your GPU, little bit on your GPU, but more on your CPU. So just you need to uh, use this software for getting the maximum performance of your GPU. So just uh, open the software and install it on your PC. So just I have already did it and installed this on my PC. So just after uh, installing it, just open up the software and minimize it. And now, first uh, using the software, you need to create a power plant. So just go for the Windows search and just type here power and press enter. Go for the additional power settings. And from here you need to create a next level power plan for the best performance so just you need to click here on the create new button go for the high performance and just type here any name uh, just i type here war zone just after doing this click here on the next button uh click uh, set this turn off screen and uh, put the computer on sleep on the never button just click uh, create and just now go for the settings go for the advanced settings and uh, now from here you need to uh, do some settings just go here for the processor power management click here on this button plus button and just uh, here is the pro uh, processor performance called parking over utilization threshold so just click here on the plus button and just change this value 60 to the 100 so just press uh, 100 and just click apply and just click ok so just after doing out this you need to close out your this windows Go back uh, for your software, uh, which is the park controller, CPU parking, and frequency scaling. So just uh, set all of these options onto the disable. But before you need to select out your uh, recently new created uh, power plan. So just it is not show here. So just you need to close out the software and just run it again. And now you see here, this is automatically detect the war zone, which is the our new created uh, power plan. So just after doing this, you need to uh, set it onto the disable. And just set it on to the 100% and just also uh, check mark here onto the bit mass dynamic boost enable. Enable this option from here, just click here on the apply button and it will increase the performance of your CPU cores. Just after doing this, you need to click here onto the OK button and now uh, go back ahead for your boost pack. Now from here, here is the next software which is the uh, intelligent standby list which is the IFLC. You can also download it from the internet, but I will give you this uh, into this boost pack. So just you not need to download it. So just uh, run this as administrator, right click here and just go for the run as administrator and it will be running in your background here. So uh, just you need to uh, click here onto this software icon and uh, you just see here this is the uh, intelligent power controller. So just you need to uh, click on this stop button and now you need to change out the value. So first of all, the list size of at least you need to type here the 
half uh, size of your RAM in MB here just I have 8 GB of RAM so just need to divide it by 2 and you will get this value and here is you need to type here the uh, total value total amount of your RAM in MB so I have 8 GB so just you need to uh, press 8 and just uh, multiply it with the 1024 and you will get this value just after adding this value you need to uh, go for the uh, wanted timer resolution and just uh, you type here 0 0.50 and just uh, click here on the start button it will also help out you to decreasing the input delay of your game and just minimize the software and it will be running in your background just after doing this now it's time to do some tweaks and fix out the stutter in our game so just for this you need to go for the properties of your windows go into the advanced setting go into the setting tabs and from here just set it onto the custom button and from here you need to follow all of the steps which i'm going to show you here Because here I just check out all of these marks, just need to click here on the apply button, click OK, click OK again and just our setting is done. So guys, I hope so, this setting is really help out you to fixing out your all the problem. If you have any type of problem, so just comment me down there and I will really help out you as soon as possible. So guys, till the next video, Allah Hafiz and bye bye.